This video will show you how to create a blog page on WordPress. Creating a separate page for your blog makes it easier for visitors to find your latest posts. However, if you're unfamiliar with blog pages, you might struggle to set one up. This video will solve that problem for you. I'll show you how to create a separate page for blog posts in WordPress step by step. Seedpride is the best website builder for WordPress. Its drag and drop page builder lets you create landing pages and flexible website layouts without code. Seedpride also includes a theme designer to customize your blog page, sidebar, and more. As a result, you can create a separate page for blog posts and tailor it to your brand without hiring a developer. Let's jump into how to create a blog page on WordPress with Seedprod. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress and the only thing I've done so far is I added some test posts here just to play with for the blog page. If you'd rather read than watch the video, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the article for this topic as well. It's a great article written by Stacy. So the first thing you want to do is install Seedprod and this again is a drag and drop WordPress website builder so you can build complete WordPress themes from scratch or by using our built-in themes that you can import. So let's go ahead and get Seedprod. You want to select the pro or elite plan here to get the theme builder and once you have an account let's click on login. On the left hand side let's put in your email address and password that you use to sign up and click on login. Let's click on the second tab here called downloads and let's click the orange button here to download Seedprod Pro. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click the little icon there to copy that to clipboard. You can go ahead and close this tab now. Back in WordPress on the left hand side, let's go to plugins and add new. And up top here, let's go to upload plugin. You can click on choose file and select that zip file that we just downloaded. Or you can drag this from the bottom if you're using a similar browser as I am and click install now. Next, let's click on activate plugin and we can paste that license key right here and verify key and you should get a green success message up here in the top right. I'm going to close this tab at the bottom of my browser. And next we're ready to go into the theme builder here on the left hand side under seed pride. Let's go to theme builder. And here we can see our theme templates right now. We can only see global CSS and this controls the styles across all of your pages. So the theme templates are different than pages or posts because these can be applied to multiple pages. So for example, you can create one post page template and that'll be applied to all of your blog posts. So you can change the style and the look and feel of that page. Let's go ahead and import a theme. So we'll click on themes and here there's many different themes. There's one here for a restaurant you have a hotel resort. We have a pizza shop, creative theme, bicycle shop, lots to choose from. I'm just going to go with the starter theme here and click the check mark. So here we can see all of the theme templates now. So we have our header, we have our footer, sidebar, home page. Right here we have the blog index. So for example, you'd want to probably start with the home page and click on edit design. And here you can see the CPROD WordPress theme builder. We have the blocks on the left hand side that we can drag into our page on the right. So for example, under standard, here's a video. We can just drag and drop that in here and click on the settings, the block settings. And here we can change the video to a YouTube or custom, change the URL, the width of it alignment and then under advanced we have different options so you can also duplicate this block if you wish and there's a little trash can here if you want to delete that but here we can click on the text and you can go down the page and update your text here and you can change the alignment you can change the size of the text here if you like so we can put this maybe on one line the level and then of course we have advanced settings here as well like all blocks do so here's an image if we click on this we can change the image and the size there's different templates for this and advanced settings so you just make your way down your page and you keep changing all of the different blocks here to make it custom for what your website is come out of here and we'll save this and close this page next here we have the blog index archives and search so we could create this from scratch by typing blog here for a new theme template and then you could select archive and you can see that this is applied to the blog page i'm just going to close this since the theme imported we it already created it for us so we can click on edit design here and here we can see the basic theme that it created for us so we want to update this a little bit you can click on absolutely everything to edit it you can change the colors the design the layout it has a sidebar here you can use that or you can get rid of it you can put any block in any spot so if i want a video here you can see i can put that in the sidebar as well these theme templates come with template tags and these are dynamic tags that you can use into your posts and pages so for example in post navigation archive title post comments post post title etc so right now this is the post block here let's say we don't want this we just want to clean this up because we already say blogs up here we can click on this to say maybe articles or change that you have some text here you can update and then we have the post block now you have a query type here that you can take 
full control over what posts you want to show. So we have default, custom, or manual. So using default is a great way to show your latest posts. If you want to get more refined, you can use custom or even manual, and you can only show posts for a specific category, a tag, an author, whatever you wish. Let's just go with the default one for now. And if we come down, we have the layout. Right now it's set to one column. Let's actually show the featured images so we can see these posts a little bit better. So there they are right there. And let's increase the columns. So let's say we want two columns side by side. You can see that it puts those down the page. Maybe you could even do three if you like, or you could keep it at one. Here we have the option for pagination. So if we come to the bottom, you can see the pagination here at the bottom and you can design and change the look of that as well. Here we have the show title. So you can turn that on and off. We have the title tag. So if you want to change the heading for this tag right now, it's set to an H2. Here we have the show meta data. So that's the information that's right here. So if I turn Turn that off you can see that that leaves if i turn it on we have different meta options here so right now we're showing the author and the date maybe we can show just the mo date modified and maybe we can show the show comment count here you can see a little pipe delimiter in between there and that's whatever you set here so if you want to change that you can change what that looks like next if we come down we have the show excerpt so that's the lit text here so if I turn that off, you can see the little sample text that comes with that post. You can change the length of that. So maybe you want it longer. I could show 50 in length or you can make it smaller. And then we have a read more down here, which you can turn off and on and change the text if you wish. Great. I think that looks pretty good. Let's come under advanced. And here we can actually really refine the look of our blog posts. So here we have the post itself. We have some post padding here. I'm going to put maybe 20 pixels around each side. We have the post background color. So if you wanted to add a different color, you could go ahead and do that. Maybe just a light gray. You can have it outline there a little bit of the, the post shape. We have a post shadow here. So you could put a large shadow if you like, or you could keep that off. You have the space in the bottom, so you can separate the space in between each post. I'll just leave that off. And next we have the text here. So you can change the topography and the color for the title the meta, the excerpt itself, and the read more. We also have the pagination color down here as well. So for example, let's change maybe the meta text color. We can make that a little bit lighter so it doesn't stand out as much as the title and the excerpt. Next, we have the image. So we can change the shadow on that. If we want to put a shadow, you can see that it puts it right around the image instead of the box on the outside this time. We also have the border radius. So if you want to add a little bit of a corner on your post, you could maybe put 20 or five or 10, whatever you wish, whatever you think looks good. I'll go with five. We also have a border style here. You can change that between solid, dotted, and dashed. Let's go ahead and add let's say maybe just one, but you won't see it until you apply the image border color. I'm gonna go with white just so it highlights the outside of it and pops off the page a bit. Also have image white space. So that's spacing in between the border and the actual image here. So it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It looks like it's increasing the border. That's because we used white. But if you see, if I change it to another color, it's actually the white space in between here that it's changing. So you could do maybe a just a faint gray that's darker than that background and then just put a little bit of space here and you can see it adds kind of this nice double border look we also have the image margin so you can change the spacing on the outside of the image around it as well let's go to border so this will help you refine different border options here if you want to change the post so here we have a little bit on the image we could do the same thing maybe five for the post as well you could add another border color here similar to the image as well Great, let's come down and we also have spacing so you can control the margin and padding, the attributes if you wanna add a custom class to this, or you could add some custom CSS by connecting to this ID here that's generated automatically. We also have device visibility. So if you wanna hide the posts on the desktop or on mobile, you can create different versions of your posts to show on different devices. So here, for example, if we come down to mobile preview, we can see our posts and what they look like, but maybe it doesn't look good and you want to hide it. You can click hide on mobile. You can see that that's grayed out. If I switch back to desktop, it's no longer grayed out. And that's just to indicate that it's hidden on mobile. Excellent. Once you're happy with your template, again, you can absolutely customize this however you wish. Maybe you want to come down and we can add an opt-in form and maybe we want to add some social profiles here actually i think we have some here already maybe we want to get rid of this and customize everything ourselves. we can change this i want to hide the name just accept the email i come down we can see what else we have here maybe you have a call to action button or maybe a youtube channel or a different website you want to link to here you could do that as well all right so let's go ahead and save this and i'm just going to click the x to exit 
So now that we've edited our home page and we have our blog page, we can go ahead and see what this looks like. If you come to our front page, you can see that nothing's changed yet. And that's because we actually didn't activate our seed prod theme here. So let's go ahead and enable this. So we'll click the little toggle here and you'll see a couple of messages just saying that it's going to set the home and your blog pages in the WordPress settings automatically for you. So you don't have to do it. So we'll click okay to that. Now, if I refresh, I should see the home page here. There you go. You can see the changes that I made on the front page as well as the blog page that we have here. So if I click on blog, you can see our custom blog template. So we took an import and then we customized it and made it our own by editing the design here with the, the image and the post background, the title meta, the excerpt, and of course our read more button. So here you can click through and now you have your blog post here as well. And of course you can edit this if you wish. And we have plenty of videos on the YouTube channel to check out if you want to learn all about Seedprod and how to create incredible themes. Again, please visit seedprod.com or click the link in the description and join 1 million plus professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts without code. Now that you know how to create a blog page on WordPress, check out this video on how to create a WordPress theme from scratch as an Instagram clone or how to create a travel blog in WordPress. Both videos will help you learn how to create beautiful custom themes in WordPress. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.